So here we are, we're just about to start assembling the skiff and I'm sitting back after the transom here and uh, I'd just like to show you a few things about it. The transom is actually clamped onto a couple of two by fours here and uh, we could raise it or lower it and you can carry it sideways and tilt it different ways. It's mobile, very mobile and that's what it's going to take for this setup that, the way we're going to do it here. And uh, look how nice and tight it is. Uh, it has opened up a very small amount a couple times, but I just put a couple of bar clamps across it and tightened it back up because I hadn't fastened on permanently any verticals on the inside, no corner posts and no verticals. These are just temporary strong backs that are clamped on there and uh, the purpose for that was, was to uh, pull out a little warpage that happened right in here. This is a fairly wide piece and the way the grain is in it, it started to dry quite a bit more on this side and faster so this side kind of cupped a little bit and some people actually noticed it in the video so uh, I knew I could flatten it right out I just put the strong backs put a couple clamps and it really squeezed right in there pretty easily but to get it to stay there all I really have to do is paint this side with some water and this side will swell up a little bit and uh, when I let go of those clamps I've already done it it's still nice and flat right now so it was well worth the effort and I hadn't made these rods go way down through there because when I put this thing together, this thing was already warped. I wouldn't want to have driven rods all the way down through that warpage because then I'd have a harder time trying to flatten it out again. So I'm tending this transom as we build this boat until the boat is complete and so that when it's complete, it's going to have a nice, flat, tight transom in it. Now we're up forward here, and I just want to show you how we're set up up here. This is the one station that we're going to use to bend the skiff around. The side planks are going to bend right around here, and uh, this thing was made from the trim from a house I owned, and uh, I made it in 1977, and I think I've built like 20 skiffs over it already, so it works great. There's nothing special, like I said. Somebody could do a much nicer job of it with some nice two buys, or you could make it out of plywood. There's all kinds of things you could do here. This just happens to be what we've got now, and uh, it works fantastic. I've got it clamped to a couple of one buys here, and those are braced off to the floor so it doesn't fall over, but I can still move it around, and I've got it weighted down there so we have something to bend against. The pitch is exactly the same as it is on the transom. It's three inches and two feet, and uh, I've got it set up here, I think it's around 42 inches high. And the reason why I've got that is so most of the work I'm going to start doing is going to be right here. I don't want to lean over and have to work or crawl around, I just can't be doing that. You know, this stuff has to be done as easily and as fast as possible. That's what it is, it's a skiff. You know, we're not trying to make a big deal out of it, we're trying to make a small deal out of it. So, here's the stem that we cut out, and it's going to be about four feet ahead of this station right here. And first thing we're going to do is actually just fasten the side planks off to the stem. They're just going to be propped up and separated on the stern end like that. And once we've got those fastened onto the stem, we're just going to bend them around that station and just fasten them off to the transom. Pretty simple to do. At that point, we can do all kinds of adjustments. We could move the station forward or aft if we wanted it to be a little wider or we wanted that curve to change. I think the planks are going to fit right in there just right. The planks, like I say, are absolutely identical. There's no strong back here. There's nothing to mount the stem to. The only thing the stem's going to be touching is the two planks. That's it. So those two planks are going to control the stem rather than the stem controlling the two planks. It's a little bit different setup than doing some round bilge boat, you know, with an elaborate mold or, you know, or a bent frame boat. This is just meant to be done very simply and easily. So now we're just about to start assembling here and we're going to carry the planking into position. That's the first plank at the chine and we're on the port side and we're going to clamp it to this little toggle that I've got nailed off to the station here which just allows it to rock back and forth without having any tremendous amount of clamp pressure. I don't want to gaff these planks all up against the mold here or anything like that. And what we're going to do is just take a little look at it as it fits into the rabbit on the stem there. Give it a little cold fit, take a peek, just like that. Looks real good and uh, then we just drill a couple of holes in there uh, with no bedding behind it. That way we don't get mud all over the drill bit and all that kind of stuff because when the mud squeezes out from there, if you touch the plank down into position with the mud in there, sometimes it squeezes so much mud out that you can't see where you are. So 
maybe you're better off to just make a little dry drill in here, a couple holes, and then once that's accomplished, then you just separate the two and spread some of your bedding in position there, and then just grip it back into position and hold it tight, and sink a few screws. Now these are galvanized screws, they're two inch number 12s, and I've never used anything but galvanized screws in building a skiff, and so we've got a big box of them here, and that's what we're using today. Now we just have to repeat the process on the starboard side, carry that plank into position, and dry fit it into the stem a little bit there, and take a good look at it, and if it looks real good, then we just pick up our drill, drill a couple holes while it's dry again, put the screws in, bury the screws up in there, and we've got it fastened together at the stem. Now it needs a few more screws in there, but actually the very bottom screw there is actually going to be trimmed away because the profile is going to be changed. But I wanted to fasten the entire width of that plank onto the stem because it makes it more stable on a temporary basis here. Now the next thing for us to do really is to just bend the plank and around the station and connect them to the transom. Before we do that, we're just going to take a bevel set and a protractor here and just check the bevels on the end of the transom here. And uh, I know that it'll need a little tiny bit of a tune-up, but not much. And uh, it's only off by maybe a half a degree at the top of the port side. So we're just going to take an electric plane here and just give it a couple of strokes and then sight it again and check it with the bevel set again until it looks just right. And uh, we're all set. So now we're going to take both planks and just bend them in simultaneously and kind of compare them up to the transom there and we can just see that the transom has to be moved back a couple of inches and uh, we're going to take care of that. We'll set the planks back apart again, move the transom, bring them back in, try to get that transom to line up with those lines that we had put on the side planking. Those were done when the side planking was an expansion on the bench. Those lines on the inside of the side planking is what positions the transom exactly where we want it. We dry drill it and then we just take the clamp off and spring it apart and spread the bed and compound and then insert the screws and put them right back in the same holes and it'll be in the same position. Now we're going to do the same thing on the starboard side. We're going to compare the line to the transom and make sure it's in position. Dry drill it, take it apart, get a little space spread some bed and compound, and then just insert the screws and it'll come out in exactly the same spot. Now that we've got the side planking attached to the transom as well as the stem, and it's surrounding this one station that we've got, it's starting to look like a boat here. And it's coming 60 degrees into the stem just the way we want it. Now we could move that station forward or aft, but it would change the degrees as it comes into the stem. I think it's looking pretty much exactly right, just like this. The only other thing we've done is I've put a little piece of wood across the center of it in there and sucked the center of the boat together till it's like five feet 11. I don't want it to be any more than six feet across amidships. And uh, we're gonna adjust the profile of it a tiny bit before we put the chines in. And that's our next move is to pick the chines up and bend them inside the side planking. And then after that, we'll be dropping the vertical framing and once that vertical framing is in position, then we're going to pick up a couple more side planks and just attach those to the frame and into the stem and to the transom. And uh, it's been pretty easy so far because we've got it all at the right height. It's up here where you can work on it very easily. And that's the way we intend to keep the whole boat. We're going to actually flip it over after we get some more side planking on it before we put the bottom on and uh, true it all up and then put the gunnels on it and fasten the gunnels down and complete that and then flip it back over again before we put the bottom on it. And uh, we're actually going to adjust this uh, shape of the boat right here. The chines are actually going to rise up and go up and join the stem somewhere up in here. So this will be cut off. It'll have a little bit of a rise to it, a nice little shape. And we're going to adjust the uh, shape of the boat amidships here because it's got a little bit of a crown in it. We're going to flatten that out a little, a little tiny bit and uh, it's really very close to the shape that it's going to be right now. 